Welcome to our podcast that focuses on creating a technological rich learning environment in secondary schools and how technology is being used today. This podcast was created on the 7th of November in the University of Limerick by Amanda Doherty, Sarah Ford, Michael Larkin and Owen Lynch. The aim of this podcast is to discuss how technology is being used in the classroom at the moment and what we hope the classroom will look like in the future when we are teaching. Section 2 deals with present day technology. This is how technology is being used in the classroom today. Is it being used efficiently? And we will discuss recent research conducted in this area. Section 3 will discuss technology in the future. This is what we hope the classrooms will look like in the future due to the advancement of technology. Today's kids think of ICT as something akin to oxygen. They simply expect it. However, unexpectedly, in recent research, only 18% of post-primary lessons observed involved an ICT-related activity. The most common observed was the use of a data projector to make presentations. We wonder why this is the case. Let's take a look at some statistics. An important aspect to consider is the access and number of working computing devices in schools. Research indicates that in post-primary schools, on average, 85 devices are available for use by students in general, and of these, 63 are for teaching purposes. The majority of devices in schools are desktops. Meanwhile, on average, only 7% of schools have modern interactive whiteboards. In another survey of 800 post-primary teachers, the frequency of technology use in their lessons were measured. Printers were the most commonly used ICT in the schools, with 45% of teachers using a printer at least two or three times per month. Data projectors, scanners and digital cameras were the next most commonly used technology in the school. However, when data was analysed by subject area, it was found that a relatively low proportion of Irish language teachers used ICT in comparison with mathematics or science teachers. Perhaps the use of ICT in the classroom depends on the subject being taught. In the past, literacy was just seen as the ability to read and write. But today, literacy includes a new aspect known as digital literacy. But what is digital literacy and can it be improved in today's classroom? Digital literacy is a person's ability to use and understand technology, such as computers or tablets. Digital literacy also extends to the classroom. It is important that all students get an opportunity to engage with technology to improve their education. However, different studies have shown that very few students use technology for educational purposes. Most students' technology use is confined to social settings. Today, many different technologies can be used to improve a student's education. Schools are introducing online resources such as Edmodo or Moodle or updating existing technologies by buying interactive whiteboards or encouraging use of tablets. However, some of these are used only by the teacher and students have limited access to them. But these improvements can create a digital divide among students. But what is digital divide? For example, exposure to technology will be higher in a school that can afford to implement it rather than a school that doesn't have the funds to modernise the classroom. So many students have varying levels of access and experience of using technology and may be left behind. Technology has played a huge role throughout the evolution of the education systems. However, studies have shown that in the past and at present we are not using technology to its full potential in educating our young people. As we are currently in an age where technology is advancing at an unprecedented rate, it is imperative that we are able to capitalise on the availability of new technology to improve students' educational experience. Smart Classrooms present some unique opportunities going forward for students to have an immersive learning experience. Think of your geography teacher being able to transform the classroom into a desert valley complete with sand dunes, camels and golden sand. Or maybe your business teacher dropping you right into the middle of the hustle and bustle of a Wall Street trading floor. The possibilities for exciting and engaging learning activities are limited only to the imagination and the ability of the teacher to manipulate the technology. We have seen in the past that the introduction of new technologies into the learning environment, such as mobile technology, has not had the desired effect because it was essentially a new way of doing the same thing. Therefore, new technologies, whether they may be holographic technology or smart classrooms, must bring something new to the learning experience. If we imagine that the classroom of the future will look like an engaging social space, generating conversation and debate, while using technologies to help students collaborate and communicate, then it is essential that we as educators evolve with the technology that we are using in our classrooms. Created using Powtoon.
Okay, so is there any questions regarding our podcast today? Yeah, so is there any disadvantages or drawbacks in relation to having a technological rich learning environment? Well, there are definitely some concerns when you introduce more technology into the classroom in terms of cyberbullying and students accessing inappropriate content during school hours. We feel that if we are going to introduce more technology into the classroom, it's going to have to be aligned with an educational program that teaches students how to behave responsibly online and how to protect themselves online. Great point, Sloan. But I think at the same time, there is an awful lot of advantages to improving technology in our classrooms. First of all, we all know the students need to be motivated, as uh, Ian pointed out in his framework. So, technology motivates students and makes learning fun for them and more exciting. They're more likely to learn if they're using technology on a daily basis and they're using different types of technology. It keeps their, their focus and their attention. At the same time, um, Paula Freire um, told us that the we're moving away from the banking model of education, so there's less focus on didactic teaching, more focus on active and experiential learning, so students are getting more experience using technology, becoming more um, technologically literate, and um, they're only, it's only going to improve their, um, their education and their future. Thanks very much for listening to our podcast.